Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. We're back today with the SkyTrack Portable Golf Launch Monitor, and we're hooked up to E6 Connect Golf Simulator software. So we added a brand new SkyTrack to the GSV Studio. I told you guys I'd be bringing you all kinds of different videos, covering different software and things. I want you to make sure you guys comment below, let me know anything you want to see or any questions that you have. And if you're interested in purchasing a SkyTrack or any other hardware or software for your golf simulator, make sure you shoot me an email. It'll be in the description and pinned to the top of the comments. I have all kinds of partners. I want to make sure I'm getting you the best price and information out there. I'd love to help out, so let me know. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm out here at Jeremy Ranch Country Club. This is a brand new course that they just added to E6 Connect uh, Golf Simulator software. I figured it'd be a great one to go out and play nine holes. That way you guys can see some on-course play with the SkyTrack unit. All right, we'll talk about various things along the way. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel yet, please do, I appreciate it. And let's go ahead and just fire things off. All right, it was pretty well struck out of the gate. Heading a little bit to the right. Not a bad drive for just the, getting things off. Made really good contact with it. You can see I got good carry. That was a well-struck ball. All right, carried it 267. Obviously the downhill helped me a little bit, I think on that one. We only have 70 yards to the pin. Now, I like to put my ball right on the dot. All right, I've had several different people ask, you know, what setup are you using? You seem to have really good success. Well, I, want, I always make sure the SkyTrack is level. I always make sure it's aligned. All right, and I do that kind of manually and using their software both. Um, and I prefer things right on the dot. I know some people like to put a little bit behind the dot depending on what they're doing, um, but I like to make sure it's right on the dot. I have pretty good lighting as well. It's a photometric based system. So uh, I make sure the logo's facing towards the unit. That can help. 70 yards, four feet uphill. <sighs> Hoping I didn't get, yeah, I've got way too much of that. Yeah, I took a full swing at that and thought about it afterwards and I was like, that's gonna be way too much. Well, got talking and uh, learned my lesson. So guess what? You guys get to see some SkyTrack chipping right out of the gate here, 57 feet and it's downhill. So I'm gonna have to play this maybe for about 40 feet and let it roll towards the pin. Uh, playing 10 foot gimmies, that's what I usually play uh, with the different, um, Oh, I think I actually uh, just kind of waved my club a little bit too much. All right, we should be good to go now. Um, 10 foot gimmies with the different tours that I play with E6 Connect. So I usually, if I'm practicing or anything, oh, that's what I like to do. Oh, it's gotta go though, it's gotta go. Yeah, I just didn't give it enough. All right, it's gonna leave us with a pretty good sized putt to make par after a great drive, I have some work to do here. So let's see what I can do. Even when I'm putting, I'm always facing the logo towards the unit, all right? That gives nice contrast uh, to the unit and allows it to read well. So 21 feet, four inches downhill. Ball is away and it went right of my uh, sticker there and guess what right of the cup you can see here's that ball right here I just uh, pushed that putt and uh, sure enough that's gonna lead to a bogey after a great drive to start things off guess what I'm not gonna be able to take advantage of it because of a poor short game I got talking too much and uh, sure enough cost me a stroke all right, let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can hit another, uh, hit a little, uh, maybe a draw this time around that corner. Let's see if we can do that. 227 to that pin out there, or the marker. All right, that should draw a little bit. Yeah, I might have overcooked it though. I'm gonna get away with it. I just think I over-released that club. Left side of the fairway though. 264 with a nice little approach shot. I'll take that. Maybe I can make up my uh, missed approach. So 111 yards. All right, 11 feet uphill. Should be a solid 50 degree for me. Um, I have to let off a little bit, but I'm thinking the uphill is going to make up for some of that. 
So I'm going to let off a little, see what we can do here. Should be close. Uh, did I take off too much? Bounce up there. I took off too much. The uphill and uh, between me thinking in my head a little bit uh, too hard, I think. All right, so I'm on the fringe. You can putt these off the fringe. So you just need to switch to putter. All right, I like this recent update of E6 Connect. What they've done is they have had the club selection right down there with just a button where you can easily select it, okay? I think that was a request by some people that didn't want to go into the menu, um, and now it's easy to do. So 34 feet, seven inches uphill, and I'm gonna have a little fringe to work with. This is a challenging putt. You know, you always have to guess the fringe a little. I'm not, not too far off. I'm gonna hit this for just over 40. Putt is away. I think the fringe really grabbed it a little bit more than I thought, but it's gonna give us our par. We're still looking for a birdie. That way we can get back down to even. Let's see if we can do it on this next hole. First time playing this course. Pretty cool course so far. I like the, the hills and mountains in the background. Um, so par five, here's an opportunity. Let's see what we can do here. 472 yards. I'd like to hit that draw again, but I overcooked that last one. Um, see if we can straighten that out a little bit. Oh, kind of lost my balance a little bit. All right. What I wanted to do though, just a little draw. Nothing too crazy. Gonna get good carry out of it. 260, I'll take that all day. All right, so now we need to decide what we're gonna do here. It looks like it's 241 yards and it's 27 feet uphill. I'm gonna hit three wood. I, I just, you know, I think it's gonna give me a short chip regardless. Uh, whether I were to lay up with a three hybrid or hit this three wood, I'm gonna say, let's, uh, let's see if we can get it close to the green. Oh, it's gonna go left, I think. Yeah, felt it. Felt it right away. I, I mean, I got good distance. It's what I was trying to do. I just, uh, I felt it right when I hit the ball. I was like, that ball is going left. It's kind of cool with the couple second delay that Skytrack has that you can kind of call out shots. Um, I think for anybody that's looking to purchase a Skytrack unit, um, you'll kind of respect that, oh wow, you know, you, you know what the ball's gonna do and, and, uh, and there it goes. It shows you, you know, the, uh, the reading being correct. 57 feet, three feet uphill. All right, so I'm thinking maybe 45 feet or so. You know it's gonna stop. Ah, I think I hit it light again. Go. All right, that's our birdie. So we'll take it, we're back down to even. I will take that all day. I knew I was a little light on that chip. All right, so what do we got next? Oh, it's par three, 167 yards, but 76 feet downhill. I'm gonna say eight iron based on that. And that's probably not even a hard eight iron. Maybe I'll just hit like a smooth eight, 76 feet downhill. That's, that's a long way. Kind of doing the math in my head a little bit here. Wasn't a perfect strike. Let's see if that downhill is going to play nice. Get down, 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 down. All right. It definitely carried a little further than I expected. That downhill was intense. That's cool though. I like elevation like this. What's it leave us with? A 21 foot putt, two inches uphill. All right. This is a makeable putt. Let's see what we can do. Not too bad. I um, oh, 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 I caught the edge. That ball was right on the edge of this dot, as you can see. And I, I wasn't gonna call it out, 
because I was like, man, that's so close. And then it just caught that edge and sucked it in. I got the E6 gods on my side for this nine hole round at Jeremy Ranch. Let me tell you, because uh, just caught that edge. You know, sometimes they lip out. Sometimes they, you know, uh, you know, spin out and, and take off. I mean, sometimes they go in. All right, keep these drives under control. And I think we'll be on our way to maybe shooting under for this nine. That was a little low on the face. Should be okay though. It was a little towards the heel and low. Oh, am I gonna get lucky and hit the car path? Get out of here. It's gonna be a 300 yard drive, 308 yards. I feel like I, I must've paid my dues to E6 here. <laughs> 123 yard shot 28 feet downhill um i mean that's pretty significant i think i can get my 50 degree there i just can't take any off like i did that last time so let's see if i can take a full 50 degree with that downhill is it gonna be enough oh man i got a misread on my sky track and you know it does happen. Um, it could be the way I placed the ball. Um, could be just, uh, you know, a, a random chance, but it can happen. If it's not going to read it, I'd rather it not read, misread it. I'd rather it just, uh, you know, miss it. And then we can just take another shot. All right. Very similar. Let's see if we got the distance right this time. Just a little short. That downhill for my wedge just didn't quite have that extra distance that I expected. All right, let's see if our putting game. So 26 feet, five inches downhill. Very similar to that putt that we just made. It's gonna play just over 20 feet. I hope I didn't pull that. Oh, it's going to be short and a little left. I knew I pulled it. All right. It is what it is. It's not too bad. Roll out of there with a par. We're still one under. Uh, 405 yard par four up next. You know, and for those of you that aren't aware, I've only played a little bit with the Skytrack. This is my first nine holes I've played on the sky. I've only done testing, driving ranges, chipping and putting. So uh, this is interesting just to jump right out and uh, start playing with the SkyTrack and E6 Connect. That was pretty well struck. A little bit to the left. That was a little towards the toe, so that's understandable. A little gear effect on that. It was, but like I said, like it was pretty well struck. 270, left side of the fairway. I should say left rough. 142. All right. That is, I think, a light nine. I'd love to say I could hit a little fade in there. I'm just scared of double crossing with that river there. That's what scares me. Well, I'd say that I got a little over scared there. What I did is, is I tried to like open up the face a little bit at, at my setup. Um, I like weakened my grip and I think I should have just had, uh, had some more confidence. That was not a, not a good shot. Now we're chipping up there, hopefully close and we can save par 61 feet. It's uphill. So I can probably hit this a little over 50. Oh, it's got to go. It's got to go. Oh, it's at 10 feet. Is it going to give it to me? <laughs> sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it gives you the 10 feet for a gimme. And then sometimes it does this. <laughs> oh, what a bummer. I, I, I need to I need to work on my chipping a little bit. It's been a little short, a little short. So it's uphill. So I have to hit this for like 13, 14 feet. Straight putt though. I should make this. Need to make it. 
How's that? Miss. Bogey. Bogey. I hit that a little hard. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I only needed to hit that for 13. That rolled pretty fast up my ramp. I got a little confident with it. I figured I'd try to jam it in there. Bogey again, back to even. All right. Once again, guy track, E6 connect. First nine holes ever here. Um, I'm okay with even doing that. First round ever with uh, with the SkyTrack unit hooked up to E6 Connect. I mean, that's not too bad. How's that? Yep, that's what I thought. That could be dangerous. That could be really dangerous. Oh, is it going to get a bounce? That's twice that I've got away with an offline shot <laughs> that hit. Hey, and that guess what? It happens in real life. I've hit plenty of cart paths in my day. Oh, that is just funny. 49 yards. You know, it gives us a chance if we can get this distance right to maybe make up and uh, birdie and get back down to under par. Stop. That's within 10. That's a birdie, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Good stuff. I'm having fun with the sky track here. Working well for me. I had that one wedge shot. 167 yards of always crapping my driver for the... I've never played this course before. Um, yeah, I mean, for never playing around with the sky track, just doing testing and stuff... Um, you know, it's working well for me. 167 yards. I'm thinking if I could just hit a little light faded seven. I, yeah, I definitely can't get my eight there. Well, that's my fade. It's definitely going too far right, though. That was exactly what I wanted to do. Is it going to stay on the green for me? Edge of the fringe. Last time that fringe got me, it messed with me a little bit. Yeah, I got the rollout on that, uh, on the seven iron there. Oh, okay, let's switch to putter. We've got our alignment here. I mean, it's a relatively straight putt. I just need to get it there on the edge of the fringe. So maybe I'll play it closer to, you know, close to 30, 28 feet or so. It's playing 26, so maybe close to 30. I mean, I have, I don't know if that's enough. I have, uh, oh, darn it all. That was a decent putt. It was left of my, my dot, so I didn't deserve to make that. It was left of my dot. Um, it's, you know, playing off the fringe like that is tricky. It really is tricky. We're one under though, you know, pretty happy here. Par five, this could be a birdie opportunity. Just need to play it safe here. 242 yards, I'm not gonna try to hit some crazy fade or something here. Let's see if I've been carrying the ball pretty well today. So let's say I carry it, that's 260. All right, let's see if we can just hit a ball. Straight out there. Oh no, that was a big miss. I'm hoping I get some gear. I hit it so far on the, the high toe that I'm gonna get lucky with some gear effect. And uh, I mean, that was just a, that was just a miss. And it would have been crushed if it was just a little towards, uh, you know, towards the center of the club face is what it is. Got lucky, it was a good miss. It was a good miss. 184 yards. I mean, you gotta go for it. It's surrounded by water. But you only need 160 to hit the green. So if I were to play that same seven iron shot, maybe just straight. I really don't wanna try to fade it too much or anything. Just play this smooth seven straight to get it on the green. That was, I mean, struck pretty well. Pretty straight, tiny draw. Go ball, roll out, roll out. 
All right, that's an eagle putt. That's an eagle putt. I'm glad I didn't try to get fancy with that. I mean, it's like, get it up on the green, you know? So it's playing 30 feet. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my little soft strike mat here, make it all nice and level. That way I'm not distracted at all. Get my ball nicely placed right on the dot. All right, logo facing the sky track. 26 feet, four inches. So it's playing about 30. Nope. If you guys notice, see how it's to the right? And that was a little short, to the right of my dot. But that's birdie. That's two under. Nine holes out of Jeremy Ranch. First time ever playing with the Sky Track, And we nailed uh, a 34. I mean, I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. I'm very interested to see what you guys think. I mean, I have a, a ton of different viewers in the channel. I have viewers that, uh, that play SkyTrack currently, are looking for SkyTrack, have like OptiShot or anything. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys think. That was the first nine holes out at uh, Jeremy Ranch, E6 Connect, SkyTrack Portable Golf Launch Monitor. All right, uh, some good shots, some bad shots. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't had a chance. I appreciate it. Help support the channel. If you're looking to purchase SkyTrack or any other hardware or software, shoot me an email, top of the comments or in the description. I always uh, put it in there. Um, love to hear from you guys, even if it's just uh, some questions you may have, you know, some some consulting. I love uh, love helping with all that stuff. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll talk to you soon.